everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Renee, and I am going to be making a Georgia seafood gumbo. Yeah. Um, what I'm mixing right now is equal parts flour and vegetable oil. Now I'm using just regular vegetable oil. I hear you can use canola also, and this is um, on a medium heat. It could probably stand to be a little bit warmer, which I'm going to do right now. So I'm whisking it. You have to never stop whisking it because if it burns out here, you have to start over. And as usual, this is my first time. <laughs> I always bring you guys on board with my first time. So what I've used here is like, I guess, um, however much oil you see here. So I guess what I have here is a, however much oil you see here, this is my hand, so you can see how big this, well, this doesn't tell you, you know, that kind of tells you how big that pot is. You're never supposed, you saw what happened when I stopped stirring, it started to cook the oil, and it's supposed to get to like a milk chocolate. It starts off as like a milky white liquid, but you gotta get it to a milk chocolate, and it's about time for me to add my trinity mix which is celery bell peppers and onions so let's do that okay so i'm going to add my trinity mix i'm using about this much this deep i poured it all in and i'm getting ready to oh shit 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 i'm oh, sorry i'm getting ready to i need to add a little bit of water to this mix I'm getting ready to caramelize it a little bit. Well, you know what? I'm not going to caramelize it. I'm just going to cook it a little bit. And I need a little bit of water. So, I'm going to get my deep dish thing. I'm going to have to rush over here and get my little deep spatula thing over here. And I've got some seasoned broth over here that I made with turkey. And I'm just going to add that to here. So I can not make this so thick. So that wasn't looking right. And now, you know what? I need to pour this into my seasoned pot of broth right now. See ya. Okay, so I poured my roux into my seasoned pot of turkey broth. And now I am going to add some andouille sausage and some turkey. I don't have to worry about stirring anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding something. I got the hard part out of the way. Okay, so I'm stirring up my turkey broth. And um, I've got a few little pieces of turkey still just smoked turkey that I reboiled to create this broth with my brew and my trinity mix and um, lots of seasonings, Cajun seasonings. And now over here, I've got a little less than a pound of andouille sausage and the um, chopped up smoked turkey. That will be put in this gumbo mixture. I'm going to dip that in there so it doesn't splash so much. Okay, so we have some fresh chopped okra here. I like okra. Some people say they don't. We've got our roux, our broth, our andouille sausage, our trinity mix of bell pepper, onion, and celery, as well as the um, turkey. So I'm going to add handfuls of these. This is about 12 of them. I like the slime, guys. I do. I cut off the edges and just keep the middles. And um, we're going to stir that up in just a second. And ew, it's slimy. Yeah, yeah you can feel the slime. I bet you this is some kind of medicine. I promise you it is. And we're going to get the last few pieces of this slimy yak. 
see if my hands look better tomorrow. Maybe it's some kind of beauty something. It is really flying. I have got to look that up. Get my so, I'm not uh, I like to clean up as I go. Alright, so we got this in the mix. It's getting thick, you guys. Ooh, yeah. Gotta keep all that stuff on the bottom. Just kind of, I'm gonna let this simmer a little bit more. I tasted my roux and it needed a little bit of salt. I was actually surprised um, with the smoked turkey, but I added a little bit of sea salt and um, I'll be back. Alright, at this point, we're just gonna add some cooked shrimp. This is kind of like 41 to 50 of these shrimps or shrimp <laughs> and we're gonna add it to add it to the room okay ouch that was hot oh shit oh, burn it just add it to the room oh, oh. alright I dropped some add them to the room and we're gonna stir again. And uh, it's kind of heavy. You know, this pot is gonna be heavy because there's a lot of junk in here. At this point, all we're doing is adding and boiling and adding and boiling. And I would, I would go ahead and mention that that's why I don't fill the roux and broth up to the tip because you're gonna be adding so much more. You see, I only have that much more before I'm at the top. And I've still got to add mussels and a crab. Oh yeah, this is very meaty. That's why I call it bloated. Bloated Georgia seafood gumbo. All right, so let's go get ready to. I'm gonna steam some rice. You guys don't need to see that, but I'll go ahead and get ready to get my live mussels. Hold on. So now we've got about a pound of mussels. These mussels are alive. They have been thrice rinsed. And now we're going to add them to our very, very junky roux mix. Why weren't you boiling? I don't know. I turned it down. Okay, so I'm just going to take this bag. Oops, sorry. I knew with one hand sucks. Okay. And drop these muscles in here and kill them. Let's see, they're gonna open up and die. They're gonna be like, oh my god, what are you doing to us? You wanna watch them die? You see them breathing? Oh, that's fucked up, ain't it? They're dead. Alright. Now on to the last thing. Oh, he's still breathing. There's one that's trying to survive. All right, bye. So now we're going to tell you why we call it overload. It's because you can't get anything else in this pot. So you're going to have to figure out a way to like get all of this crap. This overload, the sausages and everything. So instead of trying to do this with one hand, I just wanted you to see overload means you you've got to get a bigger pot. <laughs> no, really, overload is just that you can add anything to this. Let's say that you like chicken or some kind of um, I don't know if people add ham. Well, they add sausage, so that's pork. You could do some other type of pork, but the main basic ingredients, which is the roux, the seasonings, the seafood, our core mussels, our shrimp, and we want to cook this down and let the sauce get a little bit thicker. So I'm going to have to close these all in the pan so that... I'm going to try to get all of this crab into the water, otherwise it'll just have to steam. Okay, I wanted to give you guys a last look at this overloaded, 
spicy Georgia gumbo. You've got your mussels, your um, shrimp and the sausage. You've got the um, okra and your crab. And you want to make sure that you, when you're serving this, just reach down in the bottom. Some of the heavier stuff will fall down to the bottom of the pot where a lot of the good seasonings are. So as you serve it and plate it, just reach your ladle down into the bottom. Also, um, I am in the process of steaming some rice. I love, 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 love this rice cooker. It's a six cup rice cooker. It doesn't take up much space. It's really, really great. And I'll put a link in my box to this cooker. Easy, oh my God, I live by this thing. All right, you guys, take care. Bye-bye.